After seven months on sale, the Volkswagen Atlas can claim a pleasant sales graph. Dealers moved 5,154 units of a new crossover last month. That's leagues off class heavyweights like the Honda Pilot and Toyota Highlander, but neck and neck with luxury totems such as the BMW X5, Acura MDX, and Cadillac XD5. Henrich Wobkin, CEO of Volkswagen Group of America's North American region, intimated the company has more plans for the Atlas. During an event for the MK7 Jetta, Wobkin said VW wants the Atlas family to include a volume selling B segment entry. The various puzzle pieces point to the introduction of a five-seat version of the Atlas, perhaps something with a sportier bent, or off-road pretensions. At this year's New York Auto Show, Wobkin told reporters that VW was already working on a five-seat SUV that would be built at its Chattanooga, Tennessee plant. That development arose as part of the company pivot to a family-friendly car maker serving America's ravening hunger for crossovers and SUVs. In November, Volkswagen filed trademark applications for the names Atlas Cross Sport and Atlas All Sport. It's impossible to say where they'd be applied, but Atlas Cross Sport strikes us as a long-delayed echo of the five-seat Cross Coupe GTE concept VW showed at the 2015 Detroit Auto Show. Trims like the Golf Altrack and Audi Alroad have meant cladding and stance suggesting some benevolent SPF 30 adventure at the other end of a ferry and a gravel road. We could see the Atlas Cross Sport filling the standard five-seater slot, the Atlas All Sport playing its chunky brother. VW also applied to trademark the name Apollo, a name it once used for a small, two-door sedan in Brazil. Could that serve for the Tigan-based SUV Wobkin said he sought for the